laughs, fits, tangents. Matt and Mike, virginal fans, began watching One Piece and everything the show had to offer, and their nonsense ideas drove them to create their podcast. Buggy the Clown is back. Fuck, fuck. This is a One Piece <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, These words lured listeners to their grand show in what's now known as the Fun Piece Podcast. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Fun Peace Podcast. My name is Matt. <laughs> My name's Mike. Matt, just say it normal. Why? It's more fun when I ovu not ovulate, modulate my voice. <laughs> and the historians here. <laughs> This is Fun Piece, not the porn subreddit, but a One Piece podcast where me and Matt, the not so virgins, watch One Piece and talk about how great Foxy is. This Foxy's is great. Foxy's going to be a great episode, you guys. I also miss Smoker. I know he's a cop, but I can fix him. <laughs> Like, oh man, I, just like I, T-Bone? I could totally fix T-Bone. I fucking oh love God, T-Bone so T-Bone, bad. T-Bone, his intentions are so good. So, he's I feel like he and Smoker are like the same level of justice oriented. It's great. Yeah, but T-Bone would like arrest somebody for jaywalking and I don't think Smoker would care that much. I guess that's fair. I guess that's <laughs> fair. Oh, I was just about to say something and now it's gone. Smoker would use his like um, his car had the spinny lights on the top of the police um, boat to get past traffic. <laughs> car police cruiser cruiser that's what they're fucking stupid. Um, hello, oh, he'd be a bike cop. <laughs> <laughs> he would be a bike cop. It'd be very good. <laughs> Uh, hey, everybody. We're watching One Piece for the first time, as Mike already said. And uh, we are at the finale of Water 7. Which Was this the end of Water 7? This was the end of Water 7. Well, that it's, makes sense, because they get to uh, Annie's lobby yeah, at the end. But it's not really, like, the end of the current story. Like, it's the I guess it's the end of the arc, because we're not in Water 7 anymore. But it's not, like, the end of the arc the story because no, it's it left it was like a cliffhanger right well i guess that's all episodes of one piece because they all say to be continued at the end so what the fuck am i talking about i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about it's fine i zoned out because i remembered that i had a little pizza Ooh! It, uh, if i do this you guys can't see this this is bad for a podcast i can, I, turn it I can... A ninja star whoa i thought yeah. you were gonna eat that but that's no. way cooler yeah. Hell yeah. I went to Target and they've got Ninja Turtles toys that uh were like not like from the nineties, the ones that like go from a baby turtle into a full turtle. <gasps> Ooh. The shell that pops open. Did you ever have one of those? I didn't, but I've seen them. Yes. I know what you're talking about. It's good. It's good. I spent fifteen dollars on it and my mom told me that they used to only be five dollars at uh Toys R Us. I'm sorry. Everything's bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey Episode two f- what you know it's nice though? <laughs> Is it uh, buggy watch? In the well, no, well, no, not yet. Uh, in the, uh, in honk, the honk, honk. no, not yet. In the <laughs> background, you can kind of hear a bird chirping on historian's microphone, which is nice. I'm really sorry. Yep, birds just fucking outside that window. Wait, I historian, don't know what? If I would say that. <laughs> I'm a bird. No, 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 I'm a bird. <laughs> Do you want to run that one one more time for us? Um, yeah. La, 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 la. I'm a bird. La, 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 la. I make sounds like this. La, la, chirp, chirp, chirp. Um, hey, Mike, I really liked what you did on the previous episode where you intercut um, some sounds. Uh, oh, the clown sounds? Yeah, the clown sounds were great. Um, <laughs> hey, I think Mike, can I just say, I really didn't like when you intercut <laughs> clown sounds. <laughs> hey, everyone, if you go back to listen to Water 7 Part 5... Yeah. At the very beginning, <laughs> Mike edited in some fun clown sounds, and you should listen to the beginning of that again. 
great. <laughs> what didn't you like about him, historian? What was bad? I thought they were really good. Listen, I only edit the beginning and end of a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's that. Are we still technically in the beginning right now? You got to pick the song at the end of the last one. So, yeah. Kinda. Could I? Well, no, could I probably won't get this far. This is like how far I listen to make sure the audio doesn't sound fucked up. Okay. All right. I was gonna be like, uh, I could. Uh, could we do uh, repeat that bit where I'm like, oh, one second, I just gotta. And then you can like put some fun sounds in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> Google the sound of somebody <laughs> mashing potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just the grossest audio. Um, hey, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. It's been goddamn 123 episodes since we last saw Buggy the Clown. Buggy Watch. Buggy. Where we is he? Buggy. Where the fuck is he? Uh, Do we see him <laughs> when we see him again? Eventually, historian. Is he hot yet? Or is that later? Addendum. Buggy's always hot. Yeah. That's fair. Matt. Does but he like get hotter? hotter? Yes. Oh. Um, is it his peak hotness or does he get even hotter after that? Oh. I think it's I think it's personal taste mm-hmm. as to which is preferred, but pretty unanimously um one of the next styles of buggy, I guess we'll call it. I, I can't say anything <laughs> about the hair or the outfit without spoiling things. <laughs> um okay. but it's pretty unanimously it's like wait <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Oh, I think I may have seen this buggy at some point. I won't say anything. Mm. So Matt can have his sexual awakening. Um, <laughs> One Piece is good. One Piece is good. But we're already going to get off track. Hey, historian, what movie did you see this past weekend? <laughs> I watched Encino Buddy. Man this weekend. Yeah, Encino Man. If you like One Piece, you would like Encino Man. Matt missed it. I'm going to make him I've, watch it I've at some seen point. Encino Man. I've seen, recently? Not recently, but I've seen Encino Man. Are you Man. Encino? Encino Man. Mike had a room full of friends who were drunk Me and group. high and had control <laughs> of just streaming to the television. And I... Bu- <laughs> You just I bought Encino Man on YouTube so I can make anybody watch it whenever <laughs> I want. Is it just so you c- could get a whole room of people to just continue to lust over Brendan Fraser, or mm-hmm. like, yeah, you don't need help with that. Where are no in one needs that help, boat with Mike? You. But, yeah, Mike, no one needs help with that at all. Well, Stoney's the real sexual icon in that. Hey, I would cast Polly Shore in One Piece. Who I was Polly just Polly Shore be in One Piece. <laughs> who Matt? Who do you think? Um, honestly, he would probably be like fucking big bro Johnny. Um, <laughs> he'd be like, oh, it's me, big bro Johnny. It's me, Polly Shore. Um, it's fine. Yeah. Or Yasuko. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, I'm, I would be amazed if there wasn't a Polly Shore in One Piece. For sure. Daddy the father. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, yeah. I'm here for that. Who would you cast Brendan <laughs> Fraser as in... One piece. Frankie? Uh, Goldie Roger. Frankie? Goldie Roger. Okay. Like, now? Well, I was gonna, aged? I was going to say, like, mm-hmm. n- like 90s Brendan Fraser. George of, the, George of the Jungle Brendan Fraser. He could do Frankie. Here's my hot take. Sanji. Oh. With Brooklyn accent. Hey. <laughs> it's me. Oh, that reminds me. We should probably talk about. It's been a week. We're going to be late to this. We're sorry. Uh, the oh, trailer fuck. for yeah. the Whoa. movie came out. Oh, yeah. oh! And Sanji doesn't have a Brooklyn accent, so we're not going to watch it. We're not going to talk about it. We don't shut, care about shut it. The it's fuck, dead to shut us. The, shut the fuck up. Mike. It looks. <laughs> it, the, uh, no Brooklyn dumb. Sanji. <laughs> no Brooklyn Sanji. No chopper. Hello, it's me, Sanji. Uh, <laughs> I'm ex- I'm so excited. Cup of the morning, dear. <laughs> Shrimp on the pot. Mike, how how could you like you mm. you can't talk shit about that trailer at all because it shows Silver Fox Foxy on the wanted board. <laughs> Listen, if they had any fucking brains, <laughs> if the if the writer if Oda had the the balls. He would have been like, you know what? Nothing in One Piece fucking matters. 
until the Davy back <laughs> games. And you would have just jumped straight to that. Straight to it. No context. <laughs> just just <laughs> slow pan up to the that wide abd man. <laughs> Maybe maybe it'll be like maybe it'll be like a like a, a fancy Christopher Nolan film and it'll start the beginning of the series will start right at the Davy Back games and it's gonna be like like <laughs> it's gonna be Sanji wearing the football head uh, hat and it's just gonna be like Hamburg's ass coming right at his face and it's gonna get hit him in the face and he's gonna be like I bet you're wondering how I no, got no, live here. Live action, live action voice, live action. Sorry, voice. sorry, sorry. I bet you're wondering how I got here. And then <laughs> and then it's just going to then be like, let me tell you about the story. About <laughs> I'm doing a weird Brooklyn British thing. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I got here. Let's take it back to how the Straw Hats became the Straw Hats. And then it'll go back in time. And then at the end of season one, they're just going to speed run straight to the Davy Back games. <laughs> <laughs> Alabasta is going to be half an episode. Uh, <laughs> Skypea, Skypea, fifteen minutes. Literally going to be a recap at the beginning. <laughs> the last gonna... se- half of the season, all Davy Bat games. <laughs> that would oh, probably be the worst. Jesus. That would be the worst <laughs> uh, season yeah, of One Piece. <laughs> I you know just let us at it. We would make something truly wonderful. Oh yeah. Should we start recapping? I feel like we have a lot to um, talk about. Yeah, we didn't actually talk about the live action thing. It looks good. It looks fun. Yeah. It looks like they're compacting things and, you know, it seems like Oda had a hand in it like pretty heavily, so. Yeah, he, um, he it's said just, like good casting. Oh yeah. He said in his like message that he like released when the trailer released that basically like they approved it in June, so I'm assuming they like basically had the whole thing done and then he gets mm. he got like final approval i don't know if that's fully the case but yeah it seems like it i um yeah no it looks solid i love that they didn't shy away from making everyone look like goofy and dumb and kind of scary yeah like, the fish the fishmen are fucking scary i'm i'm <laughs> in all, like an uncanny kind of way but they should be i'm all about it also fucking buggy looks so fucking cool oh my god holy shit <laughs> buggy is actually like genuinely terrifying. so fucking awesome i um, was like jumping up and down when i saw buggy i was so excited <laughs> holy crap uh i don't know if there's anything else big lips phil confirmed yep we don't see him super up close but he gets kicked no. in the water lots of uh a lot of stretchy fight fighting and it looks good i think it looks good i think it looks fun yeah hey um yeah. Historian? Historian. Your thoughts. Historian? My th- my thoughts. Um, uh, um, yeah, that's what we were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm trying to work on a breakdown of Enny's Lobby's episodes for you guys. Um, so we have like a, a set playlist of what we're doing week to week. So we're not just like six more short. Um no, I'm interested and excited for the live action. I think I s- am correct in my initial hesitation of being like, they aren't showing the fishmen because either they're the best thing or they're the worst thing. And I stand by my statement of I think they're the worst thing. Matt, you're making a face. But I think they're doing the best they can. I think One Piece is very campy, and I think it's hard to pull off in live action Definitely the CGI budget went towards the Devil Fruit, which looked fucking phenomenal. It went towards the Sea King, which looks incredible. But it was a weird choice as someone who constantly backs using studio practical makeup and effects for things. This was not the time to do it. Give me part of the ship, part of the crew, Davy Jones, for the Fishmen. I disagree. Yeah. I disagree. I I can see it's weird that they didn't do that to like save money, especially because like Pirates of the Caribbean figured out how to make it look good. But I I think I am also with the I like how much how money were Pirates Pirates of the Caribbean movies? Are you talking about saving money? What? Well, no, like CG, <laughs> like that kind of CG wouldn't be as expensive as like hours and hours of like uh, actor and makeup. But yeah. I appreciate the like practical stuff. 
Oh, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the practical stuff. I think it is a dying art form. I think it needs to be done more. But I don't think these were the stylization of characters to try to pull off in the practical style. I am going to reserve judgment until I see actual episodes, dialogue, and such. We saw a trailer. But I think it looks pretty cool. I, I was really thrown off by how weirded out I was, not by how they look, but by the fact that Arlong wasn't that much taller than Luffy. Like, that, I, I, I've i just internalized in my brain how some people are just big if they're important. Like, everyone's built like a Dark Souls boss. You know they're <laughs> important if they're bigger than the, like, regular, like, the minions. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and they just seem to be getting bigger and bigger. I was thrown off. Mainly because Arlong, like, tosses Luffy or someone through, like, the doors of the Baratier. So I was like, oh, they changed some things. That's kind of what I was more thrown I mean, off. they got to. They yeah, they got, squ- they got to squash it all like... together. There's going to be a whole episode for just Hawkeye Mihawk. So, like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> him shirtless running down the beach. Oh, my uh, God. I'm so excited for Hawkeye Mihawk, Mike. <laughs> I have so many sword I, boys that I just want in my pockets. Just like, that's funny. Right there, right there. I don't have super strong... I mean, Hawkeye's cool, but, like, him and Shanks even, like, I don't feel like they've been around long enough. They're like two absent fathers. Hawkeye... Okay. <laughs> Hawkeye Mihawk has been in three episodes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which is oh more God. than Shanks. Yeah. Um Actually, Foxy's Foxy's more of a father figure than either of those two. (laughs) I disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, Historian did mention we were talking earlier because I was talking about a T bone uh, Mm -hmm. off off the podcast um, about us doing like uh, bringing back doing another bracket of yeah. um, I want a mini boss bracket. Yeah, so like Hawkeye, Mihawk, Captain T Bone. Mm -hmm. I don't um, know if Mihawk. Anaru. No, I don't know if Mihawk a qualifies as a mini boss. Yeah, it's, a, it's, I'm I'm talking like underlings because like under Enaru were the Sky Priests. Gross. And like Pearl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Does Don Krieg count as a? I guess he was enough of a boss. <laughs> he was enough of a boss in that, that arc. Really unfortunately, early. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there's that boss that's easier than the boss before it. Um. But like Buggy, no, like Buggy would not be in the mini boss competition. But yes, Django could, Richie could. What about mm. Bellamy? Is Bellamy technically a boss, or is he? Yes. Damn it! Fuck that guy. I guess if they have a wanted poster, they're a boss. But like, not if like they're, yeah, like Blackbeard. Even though he's only been seen temporarily, not a boss because he is his own captain. And I would, I just want to say, when we're saying boss, we mean like. A boss in like a video game or like a tabletop game, not like not like they the boss, like like they're they're the boss. boss Some time. of them are the boss. Bum, 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 bum. Legit boss, Sasha Banks. You know. Do we like? I mean, aside from obvious, who? Hmm, never mind. We won't get into it. I was no, gonna say who's it, the coolest villain. It. No, I was gonna say who's the coolest villain, and the answer is Silver Fox, Foxy of the Foxy Pirates. <laughs> Um, hey, what? Um, no bits this podcast. I think people who think Crocodile is the coolest <laughs> villain are also the people who think The Godfather <laughs> is like the best movie of all time and <laughs> <laughs> something else. I don't know. You're saying very like sweeping <laughs> statements to try to get people to fight. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I just Somebody's have something. Gotta hate. I don't <laughs> Mike, I have something to say. Okay, sorry, no more bits. What? Yeah, no more bits. Also, oh, the wind carries by day from Sniper Island far away. Do you have it, take, you? Hey, it's straight and true. Lou, Lou, la, la, Lou. Just that a was good not song. the melody. Did you not, did you not have it memorized after your first time listening to it, Mike? <laughs> yeah, come on, Mike. <laughs> you know, I, I'm sorry. Did you I, not get that manifesto tattooed well, on your chest okay. like the rest Hold of up. us? Hold up. Don't come at me because just because it's like a new character shows up doesn't mean that they're going to be around long enough for me to give a shit. All right. I can't get attached to anybody anymore because like I fell in love with Smoker and he's gone. I don't know if Foxy's coming back. Like I'm not going to get attached to this new character and I'm fucking rip shit that Usopp doesn't show up in any of these fucking episodes. Like what is he doing? Did he die? 
on Water 7, or are they just like... He took his leave from the crew. It's not his responsibility to save Robin anymore. Now we got this new guy, Sniper King, who's the coolest fucking guy ever. He's the coolest guy ever. I love him so much. He's a poser. He is set. He is such a good rapport. He has the riz. He literally can. He's got such high he didn't riz. Convince Robin like, to do anything. He just. He everyone immediately is just like all up on him. They're like, hell yeah, Sniper King. But everyone keeps confusing him for Usopp, and it's. A, I don't know. Episode two hundred fifty eight. The Sniper King arrives. Ramen the nose. Oh no, Ramen of the. I don't fucking know. Stupid title. Dumb title. Background MVP. T Bone. <laughs> T-Bone, T-Bone, let's go. T-Bone's <laughs> the coolest fucking guy in the whole world. We should have just have a whole podcast about Captain T-Bone. <laughs> really. Um, <laughs> he loves his boys. He loves, he, he would do anything. He loves, you know. He's also so after, fucking powerful. He chopped a sea king in half. <laughs> after um, uh, making sure that the masses aren't disruptive and arresting everybody for jaywalking, he takes all his marines out for Dairy Queen after. <laughs> Do you think he gets them all in the minivan and they go out for ice cream? And the, that's the only way he can rejuvenate his uh, his healing cloak that he rips pieces <laughs> off to heal people is by getting a extra large blizzard from DQ, oh. um, and that's how that's his cloak that. just rejuvenates and regrows. Anyway, Sniper King's here. Sniper, Sniper King's King. the coolest fucking guy in the entire world. Love Sniper King. That's very good. They use there's. Uh, I, I know at least one listener is very familiar with Tokusatsu, which is live action Japanese special effects old TV shows like Ultraman and Common Rider, Super Sentai, falls on, Super Sentai. Um, but it's got all like I, I don't know if they're direct rips, but they're really close to like Common Rider, Ultraman sounds, and they even have like the Toei logo splash yeah. like on the rocks thing. It's really good. Oh yeah, Sniper King is the greatest. <laughs> Sniper pa, sniper pa pa. <laughs> when he's just <laughs> singing to himself. <laughs> Ugh. If um, if anyone, if any, I don't know if we talked about it on the last podcast. This new character is actually Usopp wearing a mask. What? We just talked before this about spoiler. You when did you find that out? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey everyone, we talked about this, uh, th- or s- adjacent to this conversation, we talked about we were talking about uh if if some big spoilers are coming up or mike and i are accidentally spoiled on something we're going to try to warn you listeners about it in case there's some of you who are watching along reading along whatever um because we don't want to spoil you on something big even though we got spoiled because we're one piece virgins we got spoiled on something real big. I got fucking spoiled so bad this weekend. I got spoiled like so 150 episodes oh, ago. Oh, <laughs> I'm so mad. I'm so mad. And it's probably not going to happen for like 800 episodes. I'm so mad. Fucking internet sucks. It's just that some I, some characters don't get a time skip. I think I think <laughs> you guys should keep what you know. Yeah. Um, and eventually when it does happen... I'm very excited for you to let everyone else know the means in which it was spoiled because that is the funniest shit I've ever heard of. So, so fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Mike got spoiled. Tony Tony yeah. Chopper has to dodge the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Tony Chopper <laughs> has to get audited for his medical practice. <laughs> he's, been, he's been stealing from the insurance companies. Um, <laughs> Oh um, god, okay. Tony, um Tony Sanji Chopper. and Frankie are are on top of the train. What hap- what even happens? What happens in these Sniper episodes? King's my Burr Papa. Um Sanji and Frankie are on top of the train with Sniper King and start planning what they're gonna do. Um like how they're gonna go through all the different train cars, I think. Yes. Me Which- elsewhere. Nami gets nude. In yes. front of everyone. <laughs> she does. Um, I will say, before we jump over to the Nami stuff, um, uh, Frankie and Sanji are like much. literally game planning on how they're going to take everyone out on the train. And <laughs> okay. Sniper King Usopp is in the background literally just singing his theme song or like trying to contribute. <laughs> and it's just, they're just still treating him like Usopp, even though he's now Sniper King. It's great. She's talking. Which, man, this poor guy. The 
I'm going to say a sweeping statement that I don't know if it's entirely true. I do. I maybe Nami, maybe Nami gets a pass at this. I think Usopp is the only one that ever comes up with like concrete plans. Sanji, I guess does, but never as like a group thing. I feel like Usopp's are usually the, the best. I feel like Sanji's plans are usually just like, I'm going to kick something. Yeah. Or I'm going to disappear for 10 episodes and then I'll reappear when it's convenient. And I didn't really actually have a plan. I just stood by the train for a while smoking until someone showed up. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I'll get into it when it comes up. Nobody can ever convince me that Oda plans that far ahead with some stuff. Because I think the door door fruit was like a, I should have made this better. And then he did. Yeah. I agree. 100% convinced. I <laughs> like, totally there's agree. There's some r- real like oh, shit, I let the good guys get away. I've got to, like, figure out how to fix this problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bullshit later on. Um, Luffy gets some black shorts and can't fit meat in them. It's true. You can't fit meat in them. Also, everyone has bloody noses. Yeah, everyone has seen Nami's strange, gangly body. Um. Yep, and then uh, Frankie's, or not Frankie, Polly's yelling at Nami about it, and then Kokoro's mm-hmm. like, um, I'll change in front of everyone, too. Um, and everyone's like, no, don't, no, don't. And she's like, well, if you don't like mature woman, women, it's your <laughs> loss. <laughs> I would have loved for one person just to be like, okay, yeah, do it. <laughs> just in one of the Frankie um, crew in the background is like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Zoro uh, gets a to- fun yellow shirt. Yeah, and Tony Tony Chopper gets this little badass jacket. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. We- I like this train that was fully equipped with some cool clothes that was everyone's size. With cool Kingdom Hearts clothes for, for everyone. Nami's Nami got clothes that I don't think were her size, but she's making it work. There's yes. um she's wearing a children's large a friend of the show clothes. who likes Uh, Japanese practical effects same thing I think it was in the spoiler channel at the time because you guys weren't quite to Water 7 and he's lobby Mm. yet Um, but there was some hard shit talk about Nami's outfit being like (laughs) one of her worst outfits it's rough it's (laughs) uh, I don't know it's quite impractical for Agua Laguna Um. you (laughs) Nami but Nami is that screenshot from what is that TV show is it Reno 911 of the woman just being like, you can't fight crime if you ain't cute. That's Nami. <laughs> but she is also the crime that's happening. Na- <laughs> Nami would be like an influencer. During this entire thing, she'd be, she'd be filming herself. <laughs> gang, gang. Uh, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yeah, show the be, roses. Gang, gang. She would gang, be gang. selling content online. Yeehaw. I'm yeah. a cowboy. Has, I don't think Nami's had a good outfit all of Water 7. The... um. Best Buy, the sexy Best Buy uniform wasn't really doing her any favors either. Geek Squad. <laughs> the, like, wide <laughs> tie with the button down. Yeah. <laughs> short, the button down short sleeve. I, I'm wearing a button down short sleeve, but mine's good. Um, <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> anyway, Nami has a new and improved uh, climb attacked, perfect climb attacked rod. That yeah, Us- got balls on it. Usopp put dials on it before dials. he left. <laughs> Not balls. It was his final. What was it? Is what do they say? Mm. Uh, Usopp's last work, and then everybody gets sad, and then Zoro says, "Don't be sad," and then no one's sad anymore. Nobody's sad. Um, Marines are searching for intruders, and. <laughs> Frankie, Sanji, and Sniper Gang just immediately open the door and say hi uh, (laughs) to get all of the Marines to go to the back car. Yes. And we learn Captain T-Bone doesn't like what? He hates crooked men and crooked swordplay. Yay. (laughs) He only (laughs) slashes at right ankles. (laughs) Oh, man. I'm glad glad you knew I wrote that line. Yeah, yeah, I know. (laughs) T-Bone is your foxy. I get it. (laughs) I love him so much. He's so fucked up looking. It's great. Historian, (laughs) who's your favorite? uh, I don't even know if you can tell us. You know so many. Like, uh, does everybody have a favorite fucked up guy in One Piece? Um, I'd like to think so because I mean, what 
All, most of One Piece is just little fucked up guys. That's my favorite thing. It's like with Pokemon. There's so many at this point, you know that one that no one else thinks about is someone's absolute favorite. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Again, I'm going to lose my fucking... Don't, and nobody tell me. If Foxy shows up again, I'm going to die. <laughs> hey, it's just... There's uh, so many... There's so many cool fucked up dudes. Yeah. Like, hey. if somebody was just like, yeah, I only like Zoro and Sanji in One Piece, I'd be like, all right, I'm... I would fight that person in a Denny's parking lot. <laughs> hey, everybody. And I'd win. Hey, everybody. Because I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody listening. Uh, if you haven't already, check the description of the episode and join our Discord. Everybody in the Discord already, let us know, know who your favorite little motherfucker, fucking fucked up person is. As, lo- as long as we've encountered, if we, who's your favorite goblin? Uh, <sighs> as long as it's someone we have encountered. If it's not, then yeah, don't tell us. There's there's so many more fucked up little guys for you guys to meet along the way, which I'm really excited about because somebody I, had a. I know who I'm thinking of for mine, who you will meet them eventually. Uh, and I do, if you both know me well enough, which I hope you do, considering I'm married to one of you, yeah. um, <coughs> you will who? get to them. <laughs> <laughs> purpose so bad. <laughs> Furked up little goblins. Um. You will know which one is my furked up little goblin. You're furked up, mm. you're furk, furked up little goblin. Also, I want you guys to know that I did start making, like I said, that break apart list uh, for Any's lobby. So we have a list to go. Uh, I've made it through the next six arcs as well. I'm Whoa! Into the, I'm into the oh I'm God. into the six hundreds as far as setting you guys up for recording episodes. That's a lot of time. Woo! You're, you're, um, I, I, you've dedicated yourselves to this. You can't stop now. We can't stop if, now. If That's someone true. dies, well, this point, you have to will them the podcast. <laughs> I know we have to like figure out our beneficiaries. Um, we'll have uh, a fight in the back of a Denny's parking lot for who gets to take up the mantle of podcast idiots. <laughs> I mean, I think we all just will it to Sebastian. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Sebastian has to watch it. Yeah, Sebastian is <laughs> Sebastian. Pr- folks, if you you've been longtime listeners, or you go back and listen to some of our episodes, we've had Sebastian on the podcast. Who Sebastian previously knew nothing about One Piece, but now Sebastian is deep into the manga and is like probably like eight hundred or nine hundred chapters into the manga. Mm-hmm. So like last... knows way more than on us now. Hold on, <laughs> let me let it's me check the... where th- they're currently at. He's got another part where. Uh, Marine Captain Fryza blows up Usopp on island. He's Namik. He's at <laughs> least in the 800s. Oh my god. Uh-uh. Is Ugh. that far? I don't. Chapters are short. Oh, wait, no. Is, didn't they just get to 1,000? No. So, chapters? okay. So the 800s for the manga is the late 700s, early 800s for the anime. It's not super disjointed it's not one to one but it's close yeah okay anyway i saw zoro juice today yesterday yeah zoro yesterday juice. you put it in the discord matt focus on the recap oh so sorry <laughs> um so is, uh sanji San- format, sanji and frankie get uh all of the marines to, including captain t-bone to get back into the back cars and then they mm-hmm. detach the cars um, yeah so then that's two cars are detached in a way. Boom. Two cars down out of seven cars. Then they beat some ass. Then they beat some ass. Sanji gets a confirmed kill. Um, yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. I was pumped about it. I was like, hell <laughs> yeah. Kill that we've guy. Gotten, we've got an email about confirmed kills. I, I don't know if I buy any of them. This one, 100%. This 100%. dude's dead. <laughs> Um, Sanji kills a dude. Uh, Frankie's. Uh, we learned Fra- Frankie is bulletproof on his front. On his front, not but his took is, is soft, yeah. supple, and vulnerable. It is to piercing attacks. Um, so see, I, hold on. we can sexualize him because he's like fully an adult, and he wants it. And he wants it, and I think the show wants to us perceived. to want it. He wants because literally yeah. every fucking five minutes it's just like gratuitous crotch shot of frankie so 
It's yeah, it is really I, I will give One Piece credit for like I think at this point sexualizing Frankie more than most of the female cast. Yeah, like way more. Um yeah. Also, uh I just had I had the realization while watching where I was like everything that is or on or in Frankie was his decision because apparently he rebuilt himself, which I still think is strange, but I'll, I'll set it aside. Everything about Frankie, he did it to himself. So like we were talking last episode about like nipple shit or whatever that he did, or like at some point we're supposed to learn about his dong, like yep. whatever he did, he, d- he made that decision himself. And I just want us to keep that in mind as we continue to move forward. Like his belly is a fridge. <laughs> on on the record, yeah. I would a hundred percent do all these things to my body. Oh, if, if I, I could, could look like Yeah. You'd make yourself a reverse centaur? Yeah. If I could mod myself, absolutely. Arm shield? I want that Popeye belt. Arm shield's so fucking good though. Arm shield is very good. Man, I don't like how his skin must be so loose. No, if he's, that if he's got all, tight. if he's got all that, he probably shit vacuum going, seals it. Oh, he's probably got a vacuum in there, huh? Yeah, just shit. abs yeah. instantly. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, his back's human. His friend cyborg. He's got belly in the fridge. Coca Cola is really neat, but we don't have time for this. Pepsi, it's Pepsi. Fu- we fucking talked about this. I know, but San- I'm pretty sure Sanji says cola is really neat but we don't have time yeah. for this. And then they Pepsi is a on. cola. Um, <laughs> fucking uh, Sanji jumps into the fourth car, which is the kitchen car. And he meets, is it Wanza or Wanzi? Wanza? Um, I think this is when he goes into his dead brother's roast beef restaurant and his cousin's trying to run the place and like it's all going to shit so he has to stop him from selling cocaine out of the back alley uh and he <laughs> he's, <laughs> and then the bit <laughs> just making a bear first reference episode <laughs> we haven't gotten through it one day <laughs> sorry go watch the bear it's good yeah bears are really um, good spoilers yeah it's good spoilers <laughs> one a little fu- <laughs> oh man is Wanze transforming into a snail? I don't know. I think he might be trying to, but then Sanji reverses it by the end of yeah. this. So <laughs> he, he looks like a human transponder snail. He's got his eyes like shooting out of his face and then yeah. like his nose is all fucked up. He's just a really fucked up looking man. And he shoves, <laughs> he, sh- he eats a bunch of like flour and then he starts like making noodles. <laughs> High quality flour. And he starts making, put, making noodles out his nose. Yeah. Um, his ramen kenpo. He says, ramen kenpo. Go, 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 go. Hey, everyone, you guys are going to like watch me brush over, uh, continue to brush over really important villains, but I'm going to remember ramen kenpo. <laughs> um, I wrote in my notes, Mike might love Wanza. Wanza? Wanzi? Wanza. He's pretty fun. He's a pretty fun guy. That's not the reaction I was expecting. I was expecting you to like be talking for the next 45 minutes about how much you love this little goober. No, um I think I like the <laughs> like shitty weasel man more. <laughs> <laughs> Nero? Yeah. Um okay. the noodle mech did did things for me. No, Wanza didn't make it into the like Mike Brain Palace. Yeah. That's fair. Anyway, I think he was fun, though. Sanji tells uh, Sniper King and Frankie uh, to go on ahead that this guy's mine. And that's the end of the episode. Yeah. Oh, there are some good interactions where everyone keeps, like, attacking Wanze, and then he dodges, and he looks like he's smiling and having a great time, but he's terrified. Yeah, it's very fun. That was fun. That was very good. Episode 2. 259. I'm so burpy. Hold on. Stop. That's not the title. Stanji teaches kitchen etiquette. Nice. Background MVP, wallet chain. There's a glimpse. I have a foreground MP, uh, MVP, and it's Frankie's crotch. It's <laughs> <laughs> the new main character of One Piece. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. Um, I, love how, I love how there's just, like, absolute chaos going on, and you can definitely hear it. And all the CP9 fucks are just like, eh, we're just going to stay in our car. We're just not going to fucking leave. 
Yeah. No, we're fine. Those <laughs> fucking man, what a bunch of shitheads. Yeah. They're they're good. They're good. They you like to hate them. You do. They all suck. They're all just like immediately like we're emotionless. Did you notice they all got bigger? The they second did. they became villains. Yeah, Blue Nose fucking enormous. Yeah, like even Kaku. Kaku's like huge. Everybody like, got taller. Happened? Yeah, they're like we're villains, and like and their bones <laughs> crunch, and they grow like five feet. Yeah, it's very strange. Um, I will say I really like the framing device that we kept getting here, where it kept showing like a section view of the side of the train, and basically showing us like who's where or like what <laughs> and car it's the they cutest got. Cutest picture. <laughs> Um, and I just, I don't know, I really like that because it helps us keep track in our brains of like, oh, okay, so Wands is in four, Nero's in three, all the CP9 fucks are in two, Robin's in car one, and then like they, where Frankie and everybody is. It's great. They do that, they did that a lot in all like the major arcs of like Skypea and um, Alabasta where they had like the maps of like where people were and yeah. stuff. That stuff was really helpful to I love, like, keep track. I love those sorts of things. Cause it just like, it gives it, us as like the audience, like a good little, like, Oh yeah. Okay. That's where everybody fucking is. Cool. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, it's a good little refresher. I like it. Anyway. Uh, uh, I don't like Wanza's eyes. I said that. No. Yeah. He's, you know, he just is a little bit too much of like, he looks like he would not be allowed within five miles of a school. Mm-hmm. 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 That's mm-hmm. the vibe he gives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I um, agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frankie, I st- status Frankie? report from gout schmuck. Oh, government schmuck. <laughs> the, one of the government. <laughs> My V looks like a U. I thought it said gout. Um, he, oh. Some dude tells CP9 what's going on. And then... Lucci's just like, I need to make sure everyone knows how evil I am. I don't care how many men die. Yeah. I don't feel anything. It's like, we get, <laughs> chill the fuck out. We get it. I okay. hope somebody, somebody's going to fucking like shoot his pigeon and then he's actually going to like feel for the first time. I Either that or like he will get killed and then his pigeon will drop dead. Be the real Lucci. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe his essence will go into the pigeon. That's like part of, that's the seventh power. Always Um, have an animal. You can imbibe your, not imbibe, (laughs) steal your essence. Oh, maybe the pigeons like his, um, his little blurbo. His little, (laughs) I don't, I don't (laughs) care anymore. I don't care about this conversation. Wanza shoots ramen noodles out of his nose. (laughs) Yeah. Wanza and Sanji, they can't hit each other. He's, and then Wanza gets dizzy because he sees Sanji's eyebrow. (laughs) He's like, oh, you're trying, you're hypnotizing me. Stop it. Um, Fucking. (laughs) And then he pulls, he pulls some noodles together and makes a noodle suit. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, on at the third car, uh, the sea weasel Nero, who is the newest member of CP9, weasel. is uh, on that particular. He's on the roof of the train with Frankie. Oh, he's Polly only sure to play this guy. Oh yeah, perfect. There we he's go. He's the weasel. He's only got four <laughs> powers. He hasn't fully trained enough to have all six powers yet. He, can't, he doesn't know how to finger yet. He says yacha. <laughs> <laughs> So is it the fing- the finger gun and um, He doesn't have the finger gun. Ab flexo iron body. I guess those are the two he doesn't have because he had everything Whatever. else. You fuck you're uh what is it like paper cut dash? Uh shave. 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 Fucking stupid. You got <laughs> stupid ass power. fucking names. You got Zoro over here and he's like thousand times demon slash his his whole move is like a monologue to himself sure. and you're like paper cut attack <laughs> i'm scary <laughs> i'm just saying i think the crew of fun piece i think we could easily take cp9 <laughs> with our our shitty shitty take or shitty take shitty take fruits mike shitty, i don't sh- want to interrupt <laughs> um do, have you checked your twitter messages recently Oh, are you talking about the picture of uh, Kaku fucking Luchi yes. in the butt? I just wanted to make sure you saw it. I saw it. Because if that, if that shows up on my Twitter dash, I also have to make sure it shows up on your guys's. Oh. <laughs> Matt, have you not seen this? 
Oh no. I thought No, oh no. It's like really kind of like sensual. I Kaku looks really the, Kaku looks but, really mad about it. But did you see the pigeons also there? Yeah, he says, "Oh, the pigeon is wearing a hat." And he says, <laughs> "Oh, you fuck me so well." <laughs> um <laughs> And then there's like little hearts in between Kaku and uh, Luchi's heads as they're fucking. But like, where's yeah. Twitter? Oh, Twitter's fucking Kaku. X now. God damn it. Kaku is like, Kaku is looks so angry. He looks really yeah. angry about what they're doing. Why is he so Imagine mad? Imagine you just want to have passionate sex with your boyfriend with his shitty facial hair. And your, your shitty facial hair boyfriend cat boy. And he is the least emotive, won't moan, won't say a word, no dirty talk. <laughs> you're not going to be enjoying yourself. I guess. And also the pigeon is watching. The pigeon's watching, so you're so mad about that pigeon. <laughs> why Why is Twitter X? Um, because Elon Musk is a, fucking, is, a, is a fuck boy. He's a sad man who's just trying really hard to make things cool. But he's two X's short of a Vin Diesel, so he's never going to be cool. Yeah. I guess. It's very strange. Yeah. Well, anything that man does is strange. Because he's an idiot. Um, hey, Elon Musk, if you're listening, I, <laughs> I will fight you in the back of a Denny's parking <laughs> lot, and my mom won't stop me. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway, Luffy's on top of the, the Rocket Man train locomotive. Everyone's wondering where he is, and he's just hanging out on top of there. Um, fucking cutting back Sanji and Wanza are fighting. Wanza's got the lamest power up ever. Um, that's what <laughs> I, don't I think said. He put on, I don't think he put on the suit yet. I think at this point Sanji dod- dodges him and kicks him 12 times in the face. Why not? And Wanza, Wanza's like, did you just kick me 10 times in the face? And Sanji's <laughs> like, 12 actually. <laughs> This is when he does, he says, uh, did he do the pork bone spank or was that Sanji? That That's later. Hold on. So I think I jumped Frankie, ahead of you. Frankie fights Nero. Oh, yeah. So it's Sanji dodges him, kicks him 12 times. Then he does the ramen mech suit and Sanji gets upset because he's disgracing food. And then he's got the, he calls it his raw men's formal wear. Yes. Good stuff. Uh, then we jump back up to Frankie and... Uh, Nero, the sea weasel. Uh, they fight. Luffy climbs on top of the train again. Yeah. Elsewhere. Chopper throws shade at Zoro again. I like this. Does this continue? Does Chopper continue to call <laughs> Zoro out on stuff? Because that's a great dynamic. I think it's just the jacket. <laughs> I think yeah, it's just... newfound confidence with the jacket. <laughs> um, Luffy eats some meat. Yep. You know, normal stuff. Uh, this is when the... Uh, after So they cut back to Wanze and Sanji. Uh, we get this pork bone spank attack. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he sucks up Sanji with his noodles. Yeah, Sanji tries to kick him and gets his feet stuck in wet noodles. Wet booger noodles. But then Wanza's still getting dizzy from Sanji's eyebrows. Yep, he can't handle it. I think this is when he gets dizzy from them. Um, Sanji's, Sanji still gets fucked up. Goes for Wanze's face, but gets shot with a bunch of noodles yep lots of noodles and then <laughs> sanji uh shows who the greatest swordsman is he does he says okay. he he always he bef- he always said that he would never fight with knives because they are supposed to be reserved for for being a chef and for cooking but he can make it the exception because if he's chopping up these noodles he is cooking yep and uh upstairs uh, Nero tries to do a tempest kick on Frankie, but it doesn't work on him because he's made of metal. Yes. And then Sniper King finds Robin, and she goes, Long Nose. But I have to say, right before we cut away from Sanji, uh, he holds up his two chef's knives, and he goes, It's time for a demonstration, which <laughs> I appreciated. Anyway, yeah, fucking Frankie can breathe fire. Yeah, he did that before. What? He did that like one of the, like when he met. Yeah, tried yeah, to fight Luffy that yeah when he was he was fucking he shoots nails raging. Later. he's a mech man I just so many things he just was like fucking putting his body back together and was like what can I not put in here um, you wouldn't do this I just it seems like 
I, I just, I don't know. I guess I would. I don't know. The centaur like like consequence free. Anyway, fucking Sanji's so fucking good when he's not horny. It's great. Sanji's great throughout all this. He even sees Robin, and he only gets a little goofy, but I feel like it's like a comfortable amount of goofy. Yeah. I hate it. Um, I hate that he. I hate when he's not. He's it's uh, hard. It's so hard. It's really, he's it's so tough. good, but then he does stupid shit, and you're like, ah, oh, Sanji. That's okay. I guess that's you know, the, I guess that's the battle, really. As I think friends. if there's if they think if there's a takeaway from a lot of this, Matt, is that people are complicated and made up of multiple facets. You know, it's true. And sometimes we have to accept people at their worst to truly understand them at their best. I feel like you're you're leading to a joke in a bit. Um, Episode two sixty. <laughs> Case in point: Frankie's a horse girl. <laughs> Background MVP: <laughs> Lulu's weird, contagious hair. Gross! I hate it. It's, it gets on Chopper. <laughs> I hate it. Um, um, Wanzu's an onion. onion. <laughs> yeah, Sanji's like Sanji's got to peel back those layers. Uh, you know what they say about noodle mech suits? They're like onions because they've got layers. Sanji's favorite movie is Shrek. Yeah, confirmed. He denoodles. He denoodles Wanzi, mm-hmm. and then he talks about how impressed he is by his knife care. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then upstairs, Frankie has an arm shield and vomits nails. Yeah. Also <laughs> fucking wonderful. It's so good. Yeah. The nails make sense. I would have those inside me if I was a like shipwright. Mm. Uh, Nero hasn't mastered finger pistol yet, so he pulls out two guns to shoot at Frankie. Mm-hmm. And he shoots Frankie in the back where he's human. So he gets injured. Kind of. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> he gets great. I think we're learning. I think we're learning that guns and fingers don't do a lot. I feel like in the One Piece world, any sort of injury can be solved by <laughs> eating meat. Um, well, it's RPG rules. It's just like it's just like Dragon Quest. Yeah, you know their their HP pool is enough that like yeah it gets down there, but they're fine really. Like until you like get that last bit of health, down, <laughs> like they're, they're gonna be fine. Um, um, he does his ultimate defense move. Frankie does by laying on his back. And he's like, now I'm invincible. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like Frankie, you're invincible, which is awesome. Uh, we cut over, and Robin is so mad at Usopp. I mean, Sniper King. Sniper King. He does not. He doesn't drop the kayfabe. He keeps it up the entire time. He, he does. Also, uh, uh, Robin looks out the window of the train, and we see a bunch of blue fire. And then, did you uh, get thrown a, off by a this? vision of like going Mary in the blue fire? Yeah, um, I, I had the like the initial like, oh, the blue Mary caught up somehow. That's a weird thing to happen, and then it just melted under fire and i was like oh okay i guess not <laughs> yeah i was like i mean it makes con- it, make- <sighs> it makes sense now um yeah. but at the time i was like what the fuck is happening <laughs> um robin sticks to her guns with like wanting everyone to leave her alone saying nobody cares about what she thinks which is like nobody is listening to her um but she's definitely pushing everybody is- away and they care about her yeah is it is it problematic? Is it problematic that this is what she has chosen because she's reacting from a place of like care for her friends? But they are like, who's in the wrong here between her and the straw hats? Who's in the wrong? Oh, she's in the wrong because she's delivering the opportunity to use a weapon of mass destruction to an evil government well to any government to a government yeah. doesn't but, matter. but do you think but from her perspective do you think she's she's doing that to save the people she loves so like i mean i think it's like calm it's not like right or wrong. yeah it's not right or wrong she's, she's doing like, it because she wants her friends to be safe she finally found people who genuinely care about her yeah but also she hasn't figured out like zoro has that it's like as long as you stay close enough to luffy it, it's just gonna work out. Yeah, that's what you guys 
don't know a ton about Robin's backstory yet. Yeah. All you know, um, <laughs> we is get the that Bluno exposition dump. You, you get the Bluno exposition dump, um, but that's still not the you know whole entirety of it, especially from Robin's perspective. So I think. Mm-hmm actions on both ends become more justifiable once you guys know more yeah. sure yeah it's hard to know the context and it's i think we get an email about this later but uh i think like we might fall into the trap of being like we can see everything that's going on and it's hard to keep perspective on like what the characters know sure comparatively um just the way it jumps around so much and things like will move quickly until they don't in one piece Mm. Um. Anyway, we'll talk it is, about it in a bit. I I feel like by the end of this, we're gonna be like One Piece is really really good when you have a lot more context for it too, because you can like maybe empathize with situations better. Like we're gonna get to the point where we're like, oh, I totally get where Robin was coming from. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I wonder. If, I wonder if it's a good thing to rewatch in that regard. Um. Yeah, she gets upset at Sniper King, not Usopp. Uh. Then government Hulk Hogan walks in <laughs> and uh, Sniper King just hides in Robin's robe. Yeah. Do we ever get a name for that dude or no? Um, just some dude. I think it's just government I, I, Hulk Hogan. I can't ask you. You don't know names. It's government Hogan. Government Hogan. Um, <laughs> then we cut to the roof and Frankie's a centaur. Yep. He like they talk about centaurs. Yeah, Frankie does it wrong, and then he <laughs> he he does it backwards, where his legs extend out forwards, so the front half of, and then his 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 torso is basically on the butt of the centaur <laughs> instead of the front of the centaur. Um, and I what said, did horror. they do? Did he do the centaur this way? just so he could show off the crotch more because the crotch pushes forward and then it's all about mm-hmm. the crotch down front. And then probably also, is it going to be weird if Frankie has other weapons inside of his legs? But right here we see the inside of his legs when they become separated. I don't know. Is it weird that Luffy's been impaled like 30 times and just like, yeah, I'm not going to read into it that it. much. I need to stop reading into <laughs> things so much. Uh, I think, that, yeah, there's like the weird you got to accept some things as they yeah. are. We cut back to the Rocket Man train and the entire Frankie crew and Lulu are reenacting <laughs> Luffy and Zoro fucking blasting a hole through the fucking yeah. giant wave being like 300 caliber cannon, um, which is hilarious. Um, the it's very, yeah, then precious. they, the, <laughs> the Rocket Man train is rolling up really fast on the abandoned cars, uh, of the puffing Tom that all those mm-hmm. Marines were left detached off of by Sanji and them. Um, and they're like a bunch of them are hanging on the top of the train, including uh, Lulu and chopper. And this is where Lulu yeah. pushes his hair in and then it pops out of chopper. Yeah. Um, Poor guy. He's got it now. He's got the disease. Yep. Uh, you know, they see this and Luffy's like, I'm going to go check it out and just launches himself. Yep. to the train. Yep. Um <laughs> This is I feel like these episodes are doing a really good job of showing like Luffy and Zoro best friends who just like have a weird psychic link to each other. Yeah. Like 100% um share the same brain cell. That and also like I also love how much this just shows how fucking powerful the straw hats are compared to like the perception everyone has of them where they do something fucking like unspeakably dangerous and like scary good and so much damage. And then like they do it like without even trying. And then everybody else is just like open mouth agape being like, Oh fuck. I'm glad I'm not on the opposite side of this. I think they're doing a good (laughs) job with the power scale. And this is showing us that like sometimes unless like the stakes are high, And I guess it was kind of what they were doing with Bellamy is like the star hats are not going to try that hard. They don't care about getting beaten up a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, but if they need to, if like somebody, something important is happening, like they're just going to like Zoro doesn't fuck around with T-Bone at all. No, he doesn't. And I felt so bad, but it was so (laughs) fucking good too. Um, anyway, Luffy gets to, uh, Luffy's on like the door skirt. Huh? 
He gets a door skirt. Yeah, he, he goes through a door and is just wearing a door for a while. Yeah, and he's just looking around. He's like, Sanji or Usopp. Um, <laughs> he's just looking around to see if any of the Straw Hats or anybody is on the train, but it's just all Marines. So then uh, he just like, <laughs> does he launch back? He Yeah, he launches well, back. I think he's like. Or no, he just sits on yells, top of the He yells train. to Zoro. Yeah. And he's like, all right, Zoro. He just goes, cut him. And then Zoro just goes, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Zoro literally just. Sl- oh, right. Because everyone's freaking out. They're like, we got one shot at this. We got to destroy this to like make sure we don't crash and get, crash and get cut off course. And uh, then they just have Zoro take care of it. <laughs> yes. And he, he says, Zor- uh, Luffy tells Zoro to cut him. And he says, okay. And then Zoro says to himself, the ego of the untropic world shall be ripped in twain. And then he says, two swords style, sword draw Rashomon. And then he just like slices the two train cars in half and they fall to the sides of the track and they just scoot on by. Do you think that's his full move name? I hope so. (laughs) The ego of the untropic world shall be ripped in twain, two swords style draw Rashomon. (laughs) I hope so. That's awesome. That's so fucking Um. cool. And uh, as they continue, we're like, oh, my God, look how powerful T-Bone is. He cut a sea king clean in half. Yeah. Well, they don't say T-Bone. They, they're they driving on the tracks, and then they see a sea king cut in half. And everyone's, yeah, like, right. freaking out. And at that point, I was like, oh, Hawkeye Mihawk? <laughs> no, there's, there's other swordsmen. And there would be no sea king left if it was, if it was Mihawk. Yeah. Um, and then we get, uh, that's the end of the episode. We don't find out it's T-Bone until the beginning of the mm. next episode. Episode, episode 261. Hash slinging, ship slashing, slash your T-Bone. Nice. Thank you. It's background MVP is T-Bone's men because they love him so much. Um, I, background MVP is the piece of T-Bone's cape that he wrapped around that one Marine. Rest in peace, T-Bone. He's okay. He's not dead. T-Bone is just fucking sprinting. I thought he was running on water at the beginning of this. Yeah. Um, But he's running on the tracks, which is also crazy. Um, And just talking about how he just wants to make sure no innocent people get hurt, how he just wants what's best for everybody and justice and all that. But, you know. He's a good boy. I love him. Yeah, yeah, he's like that like really old guy you meet and you're like he means well but he's you know got some <laughs> opinions. <laughs> That's true. Historian, does T Bone come back? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Do you I think- specifically I purchased a quieter keyboard for when we record. Aw, <laughs> it's fine. Specifically, so it's not click, 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 click. Nobody's um, complained about the sound of keyboards. It's like ASMR. Yeah. I know, my keyboard sounded like a fucking Gatling gun in the background. <laughs> it was um, kind of fun, though, when we ask a question, right. and all of a sudden you just see... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember... We, like... I know more information about T-Bone. I'm trying to remember if it's because he shows up or he's just mentioned. Oh. I think uh, the safe thing to assume is if we don't see a character for a while, they all become members of Foxy's crew. (laughs) Yeah. That's the only thing that makes sense. That's the only thing that makes sense, truly. Um, So that's fine. T-Bone becomes a Foxy pirate. That sounds great. Man, Shanks is going to show up in like 300 episodes and all his crew is going to be gone and Luffy's going to be like, what happened? And then Shanks is going to be like, this sexy man <laughs> took all my guys. I'm so bad at sports. Luffy. <laughs> just all the fucking Marines on those half, those cut in half train cars. They're just floating around and all of a sudden the <laughs> sexy Foxy appears and he's like, ha, oh, I challenge you to a Davy back game. <laughs> <laughs> and Shanks is like, Oh, all I do is drink. I don't know what I do other than stare down fish. Yeah. I'm such an absent father. Yasop. We're going to have a competition for fathering. <laughs> That's one of the Davy uh, Bag games. Where did we rank Where did we rank fun. Shanks on the the dad crew, the dad thing? I, we didn't do a ranking of dads. 
Did we did oh we did good or bad dad? Yeah. I think did we, we should, I guess Shanks is a good dad. I think we said he also. was a good he fucking lost his arm to protect Luffy. Yeah. And then he went to get milk and cigarettes and never came back. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I mean you can, I feel like it, it balances out because he lost an <laughs> arm. You know, I'm learning through our adventures that that isn't that big a deal. Losing an arm? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it. I do, I'm not, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. Losing a limb. You know, he's a bad dad, stabbed. though. Daddy the father. Yasop. Anyway, <laughs> uh, T-Bone spots the train. <laughs> Um, yeah, he does. And a bunch of the Frankie crew are like, oh, that's ship slasher T-Bone. And then immediately yeah. Luffy is like hyped as fuck. He's like, let's fucking go. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, this is when Luffy's like, oh, Zoro's got this. And yeah. Zoro just walks out. And the animation oh my just God. gets really good yeah. for this scene. Yeah. And, like the Frankie crew is like, all right, we got to go to battle. And they try to like start like getting to like their gunner positions. And then Luffy stops mm-hmm. him and he's like, no. No. Um, yeah, and Zoro fucking poses. He's like, this guy's tough. Yeah. And he gets a fucking... I think there's, like, some back and forth between the two where T-Bone's getting all ready to fight, but Zoro gets a Terminator eye. Yeah. He just gets, like, a red glowing eye. Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Um, He does... Then, I wrote... I don't... I think I got a bunch of the moves mixed up. Um... <laughs> T-Bone did a right angle bone phoenix, I think. And then Zoro yeah. did three sword style bull hooves. I really like that I can just assume anybody with a sword, you're going to write their moves down. And then anybody who's a <laughs> fucked up noodle man, I will write their moves down. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Zoro just cuts straight through T-Bone's fucking sword. Yeah, like, no problem. And, like, he just, like, goes flying into the water. Again, <laughs> literally everyone on the fucking train is just staring mouth agape at Zoro like, yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> I think they even say they're like, "Man, I'm glad we're friends with these guys. I didn't realize." <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then um we see Zoro just yeah. attaches himself to the side of the train and just starts monologuing to himself about burdens or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Is there has somebody made a live journal of like stuff Zoro would write? Someone has soft, to have soft spoken man, but like you know his live journal would be some shit. Oh yeah, we never we still haven't learned anything about his backstory, and apparently we'll never learn anything about his backstory. So, is it? It feels safe to assume there's not too much going on other than what we saw. Uh, who's where? Who are his parents, Mike? Who are his parents? Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter because he's got a family. Do you, that's fair. Do you think Zoro's his real name? Uh, no, it's Zolo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's Lolo Noah Zoro oh. Zolo? <laughs> okay, not every not every R <laughs> is replaced with an L. <laughs> I don't know what they changed. <laughs> I actually don't know. Is it? Is it? Is it just Roanoa Zolo in the manga? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, the Marines are paddling in their half train cars. T-Bone's floating in the water, and he's like, oh, that was intense. <laughs> um, <laughs> he goes, Roanoa Zoro, how vexing. Yeah. <laughs> and then immediately Zoro just like goes back to sleep. Uh, yeah, he's got he's using a short rest. Yeah. Um, again, oh, we get the section view of the side of the train as the framing device, and we see where everyone's at. Um, mm-hmm. And we we cut to the first train car with Robin, Sniper King, and uh, Government, Hulk, Government Hulk, Hogan. Hulk Hogan, who smells Sniper King. <laughs> yeah, he's I smell a pirate. Yeah. Um, he smells what the Sniper King is cooking. He does farts inside robin's robe what do they call them when they're like suits in wrestling their gear no like uh when they work for the the authority the authority it's authority hogan (laughs) i smell a pirate brother um 
he would be he would work for the world government because yeah. he's big smelling bad man yeah he would he would fuck that guy yeah. um that fucking narc yep uh Sanji's like kitchen knives aren't for cutting people I only cut food as he's like slicing the noodles away from Wanza man you can really tell what fights I care about <laughs> I guess this one's more involved but yeah I just wrote like all the details of this one yeah he throws knives gets kicked in the face a lot talks shit about Robin and then Sanji kicks him so much he turns handsome yeah I wish I watched this live because I could have proven that as I was watching this, I'm like, Sanji's going to kick him so much he turns hot. <laughs> and it happened. <laughs> it was, like, this is a fucking, like, SpongeBob joke. <laughs> <laughs> Kicked him so hard. <laughs> Wanzi just gets upset because he's like, you've ruined my unique looks. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sanji repeats the or says the three sins he's committed. He said that Wanze said he was a chef in front of Sanji. He disrespected food, and he insulted Sanji's friend. Yeah, because they're just friends. Yes, they're not anything else but friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, we cut over, and Nero's got Frankie hanging on the side of the train car roof. Crazy, and then Frankie fakes Nero out and mounts him. With his four yeah. legs. <laughs> Sexual style. Str- straddles that weasel boy. Sexual style. Um, downstairs, Wanzi busts out a poison noodle blade, noodle cutting blade, uh, then just gets kicked in the chest through two cars, I think. Two, yeah. Into it's- yeah, where CP9 is. Um, upstairs, Frankie has Nero pinned, and he's like, Oh, you think you can dodge this, huh? And just does his, like, was his Frankie Megaton punch or something? Uh, he does, uh, he pulls off his skin glove, um, <laughs> and then he, that's what he does. It's literally I can't his, wait for live action Frankie. He does a skin glove, and he does an ultimate hammer. Yeah, and uh, punches him through the roof. Yes. Which, lands right in front of Sanji. Which I wrote confirmed kill, but then it wasn't a kill because he was still alive, which I was upset about. But then I it's still, fine. He gets killed later. I'm sure people die. No, he gets finger gunned. Nobody dies from those. Nobody can die from being a liar. In, well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people die from finger guns. Any. Oh, goodness. Um, I keep hitting my microphone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Listen, Matt. What? Finger guns don't kill people. <laughs> people kill people kill with people. finger guns. With finger guns. <laughs> um, God. Fuck it. Yeah. Sanji's there. CP9's there. They're all wearing their outfits. Frankie lands next to Sanji, and then he's like, where have you been? Kicking ass? Kicking ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, these that boys. was so fucking funny. He's like, kicking ass? Kicking ass. Uh, <laughs> and then that's like the end of the, that's the end of the episode. It's just them like facing down CP9. Yeah. Uh, episode um, two, two, six, sixty two. two. I'm trying to get like ranges when we say that, so it's extra hard for people to listen to. Robin murders Usopp oh. to death. To death kills. Akron MVP doors question mark. Ooh, I don't remember why I said that. Wait, no, Blue I do. No. Stupid. Bluno, what a turd. Bluno, I wish his name was hey, how Dorno. One, did you guys? Wh- what? I said his wish his name was Dorno. Or Dor Dorno yes. Giovanni. One Piece treasure giveaway. Did you guys find it? I didn't. What? What? Did you not? Oh, fucking inferior Netflix version, huh? You didn't see the One Piece treasure giveaway at the beginning where there's a, a letter and Luffy's like, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Luffy's like, oh, this is the letter of the day. Stay, watch until the end to find out how to enter or something. It's like a treasure giveaway. It's a little Luffy who says it. Did you? Did I'm not you win? Fucking lying. Did you win? No. I, then I don't like believe it's real. I, could, I don't know how to read Japanese. I don't believe it's real, then, Mike. Because I'm watching real. on fucking Netflix because my brain <laughs> works that way. And it won't let me change to Crunchyroll. Well, after the One Piece treasure giveaway reveal, 
which somebody let me know what that is. <laughs> um, uh, Luchi fingers the weasel, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Luchi kills Nero for for trying to kill Frankie because they need He's to not take, dead. They need to. Nero's going to show up in eight hundred episodes, and Nero's going to be like, "I'm big Nero now. I've learned all. I've learned seven body techniques. The s- I've learned the the seventh one is love. Um, I can pierce your heart with my fart. <laughs> Ooh, the heart fart. They're really not utilizing all parts of the body is the thing. Farts. Is there a person who fights with farts, historian? Toot toot fruit. Toot toot fruit. Yes. And they are closer than you think. Oh. I will not say it is not. I will say it's not a devil fruit, but there is someone who uses combat flatulence. Hell yeah! And they are—they are so much closer than you realize. <laughs> are they like next episode? <laughs> they are so much closer than you realize. <laughs> Hell yeah! Let's go, um, Lucci. <laughs> uh, dude spots Usopp's legs. The Hulk, government Hulk Hogan piece of shit spots Usopp's legs. He tells uh, Robin to take off the cape, um, and then he gets like really close and awkward about it. Um. Yeah. Like, and then uh, Sniper King just shoots him. Um, and uh, he he specifically says, "Never underestimate a man willing to go the distance." And then mm-hmm. and then he blows up the dude, which is great. <laughs> Confirmed kill. Uh, <laughs> nobody's dead. Uh, Lucci says that Robin's better off dead. He says Robin should have died twenty years ago. And then says something about she has the ability to wake the devil, which, like, I'm assuming is just having to do with the ancient weapons and pony glyphs and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Who's to say? Meanwhile, meanwhile, Frankie's in the background just stretching. Hell yeah. Doing squats, getting yeah. warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Robin and Usopp barge in on the CP9 train. <laughs> all this... All the stuff you just said that Lucci says. I just wrote the notes. Lucci sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he does. He really fucking does. I, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. I mean, it's fine. I feel like the the drama about this particular, like, CP9 fucks are like the, the, the. Oh, they're, I mean, they're good villains. Like, yeah, I, I love to good. hate them. They're, yeah, I love to hate them. Because they're, they're like, good. they're government G-men pieces of shit who are like, we yeah you know the ends justify the means and they seem to enjoy the means so they're like pretty awful people yeah but i feel like the driving part of the story like the driving like conflict in the story isn't them so much but more like robin's trauma versus her love for the crew yeah uh which i appreciate it's very different than just like oh which big bad person are they gonna (laughs) fucking punch this time yeah, um, I I think that's like the issues we've had with like past arcs is like we like uh, the stakes aren't quite there. It's why our long park works so well is because you had the stakes of like a character that was established that we cared about. Yeah, and like we have Robin, we have Frankie, who we both like. Yeah, um, it's fucking great. And it's like Alabasta was good for the most part. I think Vivi really got fucked over as a character because she went from being m- more interesting to just being like oh right i'm a princess i have to act totally different now like and like dropping her whole like character thing from being part of um the poop group over there you know what they're called the poop group what are they called the millions (laughs) yeah the the millions millions yeah um (laughs) sorry (laughs) so sorry um, bro- just, <laughs> Baroque works. You just possessed by Baroque know. works. Just... <laughs> it's fine. It's... Baroque works. There's yeah. gonna there's gonna be one person just... listening to the podcast who's gonna appreciate what I just said. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the fuck are we talking? About? We're talking about Robin. She oh, tosses yeah, she throws... Usopp over to Sanji and Frankie. Yeah. Um, I wrote she's sticking to the bit. Yeah, she's just like, no, I gotta go to Annie's lobby. I gotta do this, 
And then Usopp is like, I got a plan. And he tells Frankie to detach the third car. And then he does a mm-hmm. smoke star. He grabs Robin. And then Robin, Usopp, sorry, Robin, Sniper King, Sanji, and Frankie all jump onto the third sla- and fourth cars because the, after they were detached. Yep. Uh, elsewhere, somebody's in front of the uh, Rocket Man, and Luffy's like, "Turn around! We have to g- go back." And it's Yokozuna, Yokozuna. <laughs> um, the legend himself. He's oh, so good, so good. He's such a big boy now. Um, we cut back to Sniper King being just purely badass. Yeah, uh, no. but then Khalifa whips the train and pulls it back um Baluno like starts pulling the trains together and Sanji starts kicking him but he, he ends up kicking him so hard after spinning around like a Beyblade that like Baluno even with his bullshit iron skin thing that let's be real we all know that Zoro's gonna cut through this shit no problem next time they meet right yeah absolutely he's gonna oh, like 100% he's gonna like, murder he wasn't them he's before. gonna murder them all uh, uh, Sanji gets him to like wince, which is cool. Yeah, and Kaku's like, "Whoa, oh shit!" Yeah, that was a that was a good kick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, fucking line cooks, man. I don't know. Yeah, um, Frankie uh, is like, "Okay, we I gotta do something." So he pushes the wall off the end of the train, separating the trains again, but getting himself stuck trying to get Robin and them free because he's like, these people care so much about their friend. I got to help him out. Yeah. He's it's a, all about family. He's a good boy. Yeah. But then Robin, it's like, I don't want to be saved. Yeah. And then, uh, the, uh bullshit door <laughs> opens. <behind her. laughs> Plot device door opens. And Bluna's like, remember when you had to push me to open a door in the wall? Mm hmm. I lied. <laughs> yeah. And like Sanji's like yelling at Robin too while this is going on, being like, We don't care about the Buster call. We don't care about all of this. Uh, but then Bluno appears and yeah, that's the end of the episode. So historian, can Bluno make a door anywhere? Because he makes a door from one train car to another. Mm-hmm. They why isn't he making doors? from water seven to and he's lobby like what's oh. what is this what is this dude that's a good question um i'm gonna say with his power and i'm gonna say with most devil fruits obviously luffy is an exception because he's just a freak of nature um but like you only got so many good punches before you start burning too much gas kind of thing so mm. I think it's fair to say that there's limitations that he could be like, oh, he can just open up a portal all the way to Eni's lobby. It's like he can maybe do that once and then need to sleep for a week. Yeah. And he has a bloody nose and he's like, oh, oh, oh. And then he, he, yeah. Eleven using her powers and stranger thing goes a little too hard. And then all of a sudden has severe brain damage. Okay. I guess I just like, cause we haven't seen that too much so far we no, we don't really see the limitations in people's devil fruits um a lot there's, there's dudes like smoker and anaru and i guess ace who are just like i'm just always a different element yeah like they can't it's not like they have to try to use it they just but are. also keep in mind there are devil fruits that are stronger than other other devil fruits the ones that you mentioned were actually logia types and we know specifically those are more powerful. They probably also train. Yeah. Well, you didn't think Bluno would train? No, I, I don't. don't. He's I'm been just working saying. in a fucking bar for five years. What's he been oh, doing? Yeah. Making the fucking truth. doors downstairs of the basement to get more 12 packs? O- Oda was like, I think I made the door door fruit too lame and he had to fix it. <laughs> Bluno's a piece of shit and I don't like him. <laughs> Or he's, he's, he's stupid. Very he's stupid it is just hair. Like the, he's the, the least defensive reveal. out of CP9. The reveal is still very funny. Of like, oh, it's you guys and Bluno, the guy from, from the, the bar. bar. <laughs> 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 like that suck. I don't. Yeah, you know, it's great. Bluno, Bluno from the bar. 
Uh, is that everything? He Tempest kicks Sanji, and then um, he opens the door back up to the fucking... Or it's already open. Whatever. And then he finger pistols Usopp. Then Robin stops. Twice? What? Does he do it twice? I think he does it twice, yeah. Yeah. And then Robin stops him, and she's like, it's fine, I'm coming with you, stop it. And he's like, they keep attacking me, so I gotta attack them. <laughs> I know we've established... We're playing by RPG rules. Some things hurt more than others. We, they, I, we need to figure out Usopp. <laughs> because Usopp is played up as being this like wimpy, weak guy, right? Yeah. Fucking can take a beating like nobody else. Gets finger pistoled twice and is just n- fine. Maybe he got finger pistoled right on his... Bones? I don't I, know. I think I think Usopp has the most hit points out of all the straw hats. I mean, probably, yeah. He's also got bandages like, around them, so like they're probably good bandages. Lightning. <laughs> Just, I guess it it mu- it's probably like a Shonen Jump thing, right? Like, they're Shonen like manga. I don't know. Like Dragon Ball runs into this. It's like weird trying to gauge how strong somebody is compared to somebody else when like. You're finger pistoling Usopp, who's supposed to be like the weakest straw hat, but hey, let's also remember this isn't Usopp. This is oh, Sniper, Sniper King. King. So probably his hit points reset when he became right. Sniper King. <laughs> 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 oh man. Yeah. Anyway, I just fuck it. I think Matt. I I genuinely think. If Bluno came and fingered both of us, we'd be fine. Probably, yeah. I mean, he's probably been putting all of his energy into making doors um, instead of his six powers, so. Hey, what if, you remember how big Whitebeard is? Yeah. What if in the world of One Piece, Whitebeard is like 5'9", <laughs> and everybody else is just little? Everyone else is like super little? That's the yeah. funniest thing I've ever heard. Hell yeah. That's why Karu is so big. <gasps> Everyone's duck sized. Everyone's duck sized. We heard it here. You heard it here, folks. Confirmed. <laughs> Everyone is duck sized in One Piece. And Whitebeard, who you've seen once, is actually only about 5'11. Yeah. Tops. Everybody else, just, you know. There's little guys, Histori- little duck people. Historian's nodding her head in approval, so she has confirmed this, and she is <laughs> no. the historian, of course. No, I was my, I was marking down when my microphone spiked from turning it back on, so oh. if I'm, Mike wants yeah. to be nice and take out that audio hell, he can. Maybe. Hey, Mike, maybe, I'm maybe sorry. Not. I've moved my mic a bunch of times and accidentally slapped my mic. I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, I do him. that, too. It's okay. <laughs> I do some stuff to, like, cut down on, like, background static and noise and stuff. I don't mm. think it always works, but... People uh, behind the scenes at Genuinely. Night. I mean, you listen to all the episodes, right, Matt? I do. Yeah, you tell me if anything sounds like shit. No, it all sounds good. Good, it better, because if you said it sounded like shit, it would hurt my feelings. No, that's great. Mike also, hey everyone, all you motherfuckers out there, Mike <laughs> is a sweetheart and a wonderful man and edits the episodes. That's true. And I'm supposed to do the descriptions, but I fucked up <laughs> the other day. <laughs> Why are you and outing didn't yourself? write the description, and Mike wrote the description for uh, part five of oh, Water it, 7, because he's a sweetheart. Sense. And you all should thank him for his hard work, because he works really hard. And sometimes it's picks up weather. my slack when I think it's fucking Wednesday when it's actually Sunday. Um, anyway, back to the episode. Um, uh, Usopp says, Robin, she's still hiding something from them and says it's okay mm-hmm. that she's doing it. She can't leave the crew because she doesn't have the permission of the captain. Which, I mean... It's very honorable of him to say because he did leave the crew with the permission of the captain after he ge- he yeah he gets it yeah he gets it he knows she doesn't even know that she doesn't even know he's not on the fucking crew. Mm-hmm. Nobody tell Robin. He's gonna shit. be like Robin. I don't have to be here. I'm just here because I care. And she's gonna be like, Oh my god, I've always loved you. So. <laughs> no, I maybe maybe you're underage. And I'm- Maybe you're oh, underage and I'm 28, but I've always she playing a ukulele. loved you. 
Chinga chong, I'm playing on the ukulele. I love you, Sniper King. Lou la 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 lu. That's the song. Uh, episode 263, Frankie watched the Pokemon movie. Wait, what? What? I wrote door fart. <laughs> At the end of 262? Oh, we no, were talking two, about... We've been talking about 263 for a bit. When? We've been talking about it for a bit. Bluno appears behind Sanji. Tempest kicks him. The door lets Bluno teleport. Bluno finger pistols Usopp. Rob... We didn't do the transition to episode... We didn't say the title. I'm pretty sure we said 263. We, uh, oh, my God. Did I just, like, I mean, we could do, We could do it again. Wait, what did I say the title was before? I don't know. Something about Sanji... I definitely didn't do the okay. The back sorry, the back I might have jumped people. ahead. I apologize. What's happening? <laughs> episode. I had a drink, Mike. Ep- two episode two hundred sixty-three. Matt gaslights Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we did this already, Mike. We're done. We finished the episode. We finished One Piece. <laughs> we were done with One Piece. <laughs> what is Luffy? the name of the episode? Luffy climbs into the uh, even Gillian, and he his dad loves him now. Everybody <laughs> cries when he's in a chair. <laughs> um, yeah, Luffy, you did it. We're, I'm gonna be king of the angels. We're proud of you. You did it. You did it, Luffy. You did it. Even Gillian's fine. Stop making statues of it, everyone. Stop it. Stop. Please. <laughs> I think someone should make a statue of just the entire world's population is orange goo. I think that would be that fun. That would be great. They just sell orange soda and <laughs> brand it as... Historian, do you have any <laughs> orange Genesis. slime? Um, no, is it I, named I have, Oscar or whoever's in that? I have blue slime and I have black slime with little crinkle bits in it. Nice. Who's the, who's the, the gray hair kid? An Evangelion. Tot- the one who's like a clone who melts. Oh, the like fifth angel or whatever his name is. No, the little the, the she's like one of the three. Ray. Ray. No, that he's a Ghostbuster. <laughs> Toji. You guys remember the part in Ghostbusters when a ghost gives a blowjob to Dan Aykroyd? <laughs> 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 That's very similar to. <laughs> when Robin has a flashback about Ohara being on fire. Oh my God, I haven't had anything to drink. This um, is awful. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote door fart. No, we wrote door <laughs> fart because I kept laughing because Bluno's door noise sounds like that <laughs> bass boosted <laughs> fart Zelda video <laughs> that our friend, um, I don't know what his alias is on this podcast. Lloyd Sheffield. Lloyd Sheffield always plays that it's like Ganon feel the, it's supposed to be sting of my revenge, but he says stink and it's just a bass boosted fart yeah, noise. It's like, the, that's what, it's like the bird guy, right? Yes, yeah. that's what Bluno's <laughs> door noise kind of sounds like (laughs) mike can you put that at the end of this episode yeah can that be the yeah yeah i'll get the audio clip (laughs) feel the stink of my revenge (laughs) yeah great anyway i don't know what sound that discord just cut that out yeah Yeah, but that saved uh, us that's um that is bluno's door sound um anyway the issue Uh the navy issued a buster call on ohara ohara Ohara? Ohara? Ohara. Whatever. That place. Sorry, not whatever, yeah. but O H A R. Yeah, fuck that place. Anyway, <laughs> it's on fire. She was there. She was the only survivor. <laughs> Face the historian just me. <laughs> what? I'm going to go on record saying that we both hate Ohara. <laughs> yeah, we hate that place. That place We're is the worst place down. ever in One Piece. <laughs> Boy, did they have that coming. <laughs> <laughs> they they really should have minded their own business. Yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> I'm going to beg you guys to say that the last like 45 seconds has been a bit. <laughs> I hope that's obvious. Yeah, I think it's yeah, it's definitely a yeah, bit. We don't, we don't know, we what, don't it know is. what it is. <laughs> 
We know it's, it's gonna be like Robin it's gonna be like the nicest place ever with the nicest people. Just Presumably, it's all orange goop now. It's all <laughs> orange goop. Um, anyway, CP 9s using Robin's trauma as blackmail. Um, Robin's like, Ugh. fine, I'm gonna go back. Frankie follows her back through Blue Nose Door. Um, meanwhile, Luffy and Yokozuna are fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Yokozuna's kicking Luffy's ass. Yeah. <laughs> it's the power of sumo. Uh, the train, the Rocket Man train was derailed when Yokozuna, uh, tried to stop it. Um, Zoro is asleep. Yeah, everyone's impressed. They're all freaking out, but they're but this guy, this fucking guy, just nap. Uh, Nami and Kokoro are gonna get the train back on track. <laughs> She's like, "Okay, we'll go this way." And Nami's like, "I'm the navigator." Yeah. Uh, at least Oda understands how the world functions, and that all the men are just being fucking idiots. Yeah, <laughs> and the women are the ones actually getting <laughs> the anything only women accomplished. On the train are getting things. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great beautiful it's um they it's seem to get it like important. back on course no problem oh yeah um the frankie crew is still on the track though with their their two yeah, their biblical angels or sodom whatever and fuck. gomorrah yeah um a heinous sexual crime and a cool guardian of the galaxy i don't think it's a heinous sexual crime sodomy yeah isn't that just butt stuff? What? <laughs> <laughs> People do that all the time, Mike. And I think they are, as long as they're not hurting each other or anyone around them in the process of doing it, they're welcome. They can do it all they want. Wow, man. You ever like be too old to realize what a word means? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's anal or oral. Oh yeah. Why would you lump both of those together? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I mean we do have different words for both of them, but like interesting. <laughs> Traditionally, it's been referred to as a crime against nature. Wow. Talk about realizing like your uh, upbringing and the only time that word has ever been brought up has been as like a heinous thing, so you never actually like figure out what it means. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I love sodomy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody loves sodomy. Everyone loves a little sodomy. Or in British English, buggery. I don't think you can say that. Uh, no. I can't. It's in it's in Wikipedia. It says also called Buggery the Clown. It says sodomy also called buggery. Buggery the Clown. Um <laughs> Oh man, we're really pushing away the British listeners. Do you today. think? Do you think? Do you think Buggy is up to a lot of buggery? Dude, in, Buggy in doesn't jail? need anybody but himself. Isn't he in jail? Didn't you say he's in jail? Buggy is his own best sexual partner. I just want, like, can I get some smut fan art of like Buggy and Bon Clay and Crocodile all just like getting it on? Making some, yeah, making some probably. clown children. Do you want me to Google that? Yeah, please. please no, it's so please. hot in this room. Oh, you don't, 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 no, 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 because it could be a spoiler. Buggy fu- it could what? be spoilers. Don't do it. Oh it could God. be historian. Be so historian, can you Google it, historian, please, and then send us a good one. Um, okay, hold on. Yeah, Time hell yeah, this is a good bit. I hate Jesus. that I've I've oh. looked at this website on the podcast before that my computer is auto filling rule thirty four. Can this be a new Use? bit where Mike and I come up with f- like our own idea of some fantasy fun smut involving One Piece, and then historian has to look it's it up close. and then post it's it too close. on the Discord? <laughs> hold that's, on, well I'm not gonna. That's fun. That could who be a new were game. You looking for you were looking for Buggy and who? Buggy Bonclay Buggy Bon-Clay. and Crocodile yeah. all fucking. I don't know if I can find th- that combination per se. If we can bug clay, if we can at least get bug I, clay, this bungy, bug clay, bungy, bungy, get some bungy, some sodomy, and some buggy, bungy the clay. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Zoro's asleep. Nami and Kokoro are fixing the train. Frankie's crew is on the track. Um, yeah, CP9 is approaching Eni's lobby. The nightless island. The nightless oh, island. There- there is one of Bon Clay. Let's go. Nah, uh, it's Frank and Robin hang out. 
What? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not putting this in the fucking not safe for work channel. This is just going to you guys because this is horrible. Let's go. Good. This is. I'm gonna ask that you don't describe it in detail on the podcast. I um, won't describe it in detail. Can I react to it on the podcast at least? Oh my god, our 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 bot blocked it. <laughs> No, <laughs> it was like whoa it's, there, it's not buddy. It's blocking anything in the smut channel, is it? Um, I don't know. I just it gave me like a a whoa, buddy. We flagged this as severely explicit, which is fair. There are multiple kinds. Oh, I of might have to fix that on I th- display. All right. Uh huh. Anyway, I'll, I'll figure that out. I think that might be an issue with the. <laughs> that, that's cool. definitely we an issue. It's a we huge can't issue. Post dick. <laughs> <laughs> to what each other the, the picture of crocodile is still there i maybe like new stuff i'll i'll get the box um right frankie tells robin if the government gets pluton plans or the hit from him or the info from her that the world's doomed um robin says she can't go back to the straw hats because they'll suffer for it mm-hmm. um and then frankie tells her what iceberg and tom told him about the ships that he made and that just like being alive or the existence of her is not bad or a crime. Like it's the choices that you make with what you have or what you've created or who you are that makes it right or wrong. Um, Just being alive, just being who you are is never wrong. Yeah. There's no right or wrong in who you are. Yeah. There's no right or wrong in living, which is like, oh, fuck yeah, Frankie, let's go. And I immediately or ship these as two. As Mewtwo um, once said in the Pokemon movie, I see now that the circumstances of one's birth are irrelevant. It is what you do with the gift of life that the, that determines who you are. Mewtwo, Pokemon movie, fucking thanks Mewtwo. Cool. <laughs> but I thank you Mewtwo. I immediately shipped these two. Um, I want them to get married. Historian, is there a marriage? One Piece. Well, they're the art. only adults. <laughs> they're the only so. adults. I will say they are my phone background. Oh, <laughs> That's, that is art I commissioned on the internet of Frankie and Robin. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Like bef- before you all started watching One Piece and doing this, I remember looking at you one day and being like, "I spent." money because i was sad to make some stranger on the internet whose art i like draw characters i want to hold hands <laughs> incredible <laughs> look at us look at us all hey, historian cover your ears matt i'm gonna draw a fan art of foxy uh running away with frankie <laughs> <laughs> I disagree, but I also want to see it so bad. So please do that. <laughs> I'm not. Don't hold me to that. I probably won't do it. I think you should. Um, I think you need to draw some fan art of like three friends, three friends holding hands together, and the three friends are Foxy, Buggy, and Bon Clay. Oh, man, someday. I think that'd be fun. Foxy's in the middle. I think Foxy Foxy has such a good group of friends already though. Okay, well just okay, three how about ooh, how about this? How about you draw some art of Buggy and Bon Clay getting married and Foxy is officiating. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I think that's Richie's the ring bearer. Richie's the ring bearer. <laughs> I think that'd be this... so good. This is how fan fiction happens. Yeah. Um, Someone write it. I can ask ChatGBT to do it. <laughs> Get that. <It's> fucking shit. <laughs> Kokoro and Yokozuna reconnect. Uh, Yokozuna had been training the whole time, so he would never lose anyone again. Yes. And then Kokoro tells him, I was like, well, Frankie got got, so time to put those muscles to the test, big boy. Mm-hmm. And Yokozuna's like, fuck yeah. I'm going to save my the guy who taught me how to front paddle swim. Front crawl. Front front crawl. Yep. Um, Puffing Tom arrives, or what's left of the Puffing Tom arrives at Eni's lobby. Frankie bites a guy. This was the background MVP is the Marine that Frankie bit. He bites his dude's head. Yeah. It's great. And then we see um, it. We see Eni's lobby. 
Yeah, like the last level of a Kingdom Hearts game of the two I played. Yeah, it's like a giant island, but it's basically floating in the air, and then surrounding it is like an entire circle of waterfall. Yeah, just going down. It's like weird. And then really Frankie suspended. sees it, and then he just shouts, There's a freaking hole in the ocean! <laughs> To be continued. That's the end of the episodes we watched. There today. was also a One Piece treasure giveaway at the beginning of this one. I don't know what that's about. I don't know. What either. are we watching next time? What are we watching next time? So, you guys, that was the end of Water 7. You have now made oh, it into rip. Annie's Lobby. We and have to change our usernames. Oh, we do. Yeah, edit, edit, your, edit your own We get to do it right now. Yay. Um, so Annie's Lobby covers the span of episodes of 364 or 264 to 312. Save I will it. say within this, there are a couple filler episodes <gasps> that just kind of come in sporadically. I've done my best to divvy it up so you get like a, you know, a good breadth of content. And then, you know, there will be like, oh, okay, here's four filler episodes. We'll watch that in one go. Um... So the first span of episodes you are going to be watching is 264 to 269. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Six episodes. One, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It should take 11 episodes for you guys to get through Annie's Lobby. 11 Whoa. episodes of the podcast? Yes. Holy. Whoa. Shit. That's, that's like fucking I'm, three months I, from now i haven't done a ton of like six or seven episode sprints i think we're usually capping out around five to six goodness yeah. it's gonna be when that's good it up when we, these episodes are long enough when we finish <laughs> annie's lobby yeah. it's gonna be oh. my birthday wow yeah that's cool congratulations thanks and then we can sing When's your happy birthday, birthday what's your social security card number um uh it what's your mother's maiden name Four, eight, <laughs> no, 15 stop. 16 <laughs> 23 42 hey everybody remember to get matt something for his birthday yep make sure it's t-bone zorro or hawkeye mihawk i really just like the sword guys don't i yeah i know huh. <laughs> Man, and you make fun of me for playing Fire Emblem characters in Smash Brothers, but you've only liked the Sword Boys in One Piece. Mm. Toshigi? Does she get it? She, I hope she comes back soon. You know, you're missing a Sword Boy. Uh, Sanji with those knives? Uh, yeah, I'll ca- uh, no, those are knives. Those aren't swords. Uh, there's a slow, slow sword. I just... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I need... Nope. Mm-mm. Smoker has a stick. Hey... Uh, we're at almost, we're at like hour 45. I feel like I'm not consistent with my shit. Are we doing a a game? Uh, yep. Are we doing a game? Yeah. And I'm then are we do, we're doing a recap thing next week, right? Like a, a funaglyph? Funaglyph. I was thinking, <laughs> I, I so think I named the, it I the last, the last funaglyph wasn't that super long. So I was thinking we could do a funaglyph and then during the funaglyph episode, I could maybe do the like the mini boss bracket we were talking about earlier i thought that would be hell fun. yeah like we could we could talk a little bit about our feelings about where we're at and then also fun a glyph or sorry also bracket unless yeah i thought that'd be fun this episode is running long and we have uh i think a very important email from a new listener that i really want to address not like yeah. in a bad way at all yeah. it's a very like i am very grateful and like heartfelt and thankful that you sent such a long like detailed message to us king um so we're gonna address it in the next episode so we can like actually talk about it um and rip you a fucking new one (laughs) we're going to fucking town (laughs) (laughs) i think that's what i think that's what he wants yeah Yeah. (laughs) that's all any one piece fan wants matt yeah matt said we got an email uh and i was like oh i want to read it and my exact reaction was I love One Piece fans. They are <laughs> it's so good. They, it's like they, truly incredible. It's so good. Uh, do you um, guys want the game? Yeah, yeah. Give us a game. Give us. There's a game. Oh my Click gosh. Oh. The fuck. It's Trungalo. 
Lipton T, whatever his name is. <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't there a D in his name? Is there a sign that just says human behind him? Is this guy a, like an animal? I don't know. There's a bunch of body parts everywhere. What's happening, Those guys? are all body parts. What's happening, okay, guys? I think this all guy, those people fucking... are dead. No, I think this guy's fucking power is that he can disassemble people. <gasps> Maybe they all like got he... chop-chopped by Buggy. He's he's just the fucking... Um, the he can like erase like space or something. Trumbly? Yeah, like he can like delete people's parts. Tick. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying so. Like he can like, <laughs> and he's just gonna put them back together. He can he can turn everyone into Lego people and then rearrange yeah. their parts. I don't believe that One Piece would pull this shit. What murder that many people all at once on screen? Yeah, I, they wouldn't. I, they would like toss somebody in the water and be like, "Yeah, he died." Well, it's weird that there's a building behind him that says human. I know. Yeah, isn't that weird, you guys? <laughs> That's it's really pretty, weird. It's pretty weird and strange. Pretty, yeah. Yeah. Just a regular human building. Just yeah, a regular human building. Bu- Maybe the building ate the human human fruit. Uh, Chopper's dead. It's a striped... It's a striped tree. Maybe this is the... Maybe this is what had the human human fruit before Chopper. And this so is this a is flashback. <laughs> this is like, tri- <gasps> and that's why it's a dick. Everyone calls it triple dick, <laughs> Tri- triple dick, uh, triple dick, limp dick. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tri- triple what? Dick. <laughs> triple dick slog hog. <laughs> triple dick monkey d slaw hog. I bet this guy's Luffy's brother. Okay. I bet there's like five of them, because Luffy came from a Catholic family. <laughs> Okay, so who are this? So you're saying the siblings are who? Luffy? Yeah. Luffy, Ace, Trunk Goblin, Ace. Large Man. Yeah, <laughs> Trunk mm-hmm. Goblin, Large Man. Um, the po- the skeleton. Okay. Skeleton's also the, one of the siblings. You need one more. Yeah. One. Or the grand noises. Is, no, one is more? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mike said five. That's only four. Oh, okay. So those four. Um, and. I love this family tree you've built. Uh, 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 Apis's uh, cousin, uh, Big Piss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're related to the millennial dragons. And that's why they all have D in the name. Boom, done. Dragons. Um, <laughs> done. I ever tell you guys, does Sanji get a top hat? Um, I think everyone should get a top hat. Also, I think this is episode 712. Seven twelve. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll do. Um, I don't know. A forty. No. A forty. A forty three. A forty three. You guys really shot for the stars on that one. This is three ninety nine. <laughs> what? We meet Triple Dick Law. This soon is that Triple Dick Law? It's definitely <laughs> Triple Dick Law. T- I hate that triple triple dick law is the closest you guys have come to his actual name. I know it's law or is it law d <laughs> triple dick trunk log trunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Isn't it like water log? <laughs> it's log for triple dick, ride. Triple dick <laughs> water log. I like it's triple dick water log. I don't know. Triple dick water log. I can't even tell. Anyway. Fucking K-pop fuckboy hat. K-pop fuckboy uh, hat. <laughs> He's got a big old stick. Gonna shove anybody it where the sun don't wears, shine. Anybody who wears shorts or blue jeans is related to Luffy. If they're wearing denim. Yeah. Any Dragon's gonna take off that cloak. And Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean, hey, listen, if they've listened this part, we've already spoiled that. Sorry. It's fine. Sorry, He's going to have a, a, was it a Canadian tuxedo? It's just going to be all denim. I I apologize in advance. I apologize in the past um, if Mike, I, Mike and I, I have don't. inadvertently spoiled something in One Piece for you. Uh, but we were spoiled as well. So, like, it's fine. Right? Yeah, better be fine. Fuckers. Or else Mike's okay. gonna pull out his triple dick log. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the triple dick, triple dick fruit. <laughs> it's con- it's so inconvenient. <laughs> I've got a lot of health issues. 
<laughs> I can't wear I'm normal like, pants. Uh, <laughs> There's always a shitty X Man. I I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're going to read some shorter emails, and we're going to save that, that big chunky one for next time. Um, but feel free to write in, though. Well, I'll make a post about it in the Discord, because you're not going to hear this by the time you should be writing in. So yes. It's fine. Also, uh, more hate mail, please. Yeah, honestly. And if you have a uh, king, if you have more <laughs> shit to throw our way, bring it on. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm curious how you feel about Foxy. Actually, don't tell me. It might hurt my feelings. No, tell him. Tell him. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. All right, then there there are going to be there is going to e- be a fight. Everybody, we're going to have a fun glyph number two next week. Everyone, send in your fucking hate mail about Foxy. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'll tell you why you're wrong. All right, uh, we got one from Ben Tenaru. Ben Tenaru says, "I, hey Matt, Mike, and historian. Big question: After the final decision of who wins the final death match tournament, should I do a fave reveal and y'all decide if I absolutely annihilate them or not?" The battle that was chosen was Luffy versus Dio, and the final battle is dot dot dot. Tune in next time on the Fun Piece podcast to figure out the next battle. Sincerely, Ben Tenaru. P.S. Have y'all seen Smash the movie? No, I don't know. Is it like Smash Brothers the movie? Um, I don't know. I don't know what is Smash the movie. Smash. I haven't seen Smash, no. <laughs> ben Tenner put in a... It looks a like Fast and Furious, rap. but made in Australia? Huh. Interesting. Well, put that on the Gotta list. Gotta put that on the list. Anyway, um, um, who say, uh, should I do a fave <laughs> reveal? I would like to see a fave reveal. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Bring Matt, it on. Matt, um, what's, the, what's the name of the anime we started watching yesterday uh muscles versus some, magic or something like that muscles and magic someone in the discord remember rec- recommended it <laughs> and i can't remember who and i feel really bad but we're like three episodes in and it's fucking hilarious it's so fucking good <laughs> it's really muscles good and magic we could probably search muscles and magic muscles uh oh, anyway uh, luffy would yeah. win dio can't beat a high school student to save his fucking life <laughs> Um, it's true. Yeah, I agree. I um, agree. It's it's Luffy. It's Luffy. It was me, Dio, losing. <laughs> Dio kills dogs. We don't want Dio to win anything. Yeah, that's true. Also, I believe it's Death in the the Discord who recommended Muscles uh, and Magic. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, it's it's called Mashal Muscles and Magic. Yeah, and it's just yeah. It's good. It's We've been watching. Good. Mike, you should watch it. I started reading a manga called A Man and His Cat, and it's about a uh, like late middle-aged piano teacher uh, who gets a cat that everyone thinks is too ugly to adopt, um, but he adopts it, and it's just about how great his cat is. It's and so their, good. It's their so bond. very it's just, good. It's d- aggressively wholesome. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So who are we going to get for the final battle next week? I don't know. I think it's like we chose Luffy for this one, so we're going to... It will be... Uh, it's fine. Well, he'll tell us. Ben Tenaru yeah. will let us know. Thank you, Ben Tenaru. Doing a service. Um, Our ne- next email. Do you want to take this sure, one? Sure. It's from KC, friend of the show KC. Uh, hey, Captains. I'm so excited you both have finally met Sniper King, and I'm pretty sure by the time you get this email, you'll have seen the crew's responses to him. And we're 95% spot on with our predictions on how each person reacts. It's true. Uh, Also, I think based on the game pick, you'll love Usopp in Thriller Bark. Uh, There's a moment in that arc that I relate to down to my core. And I can't wait for y'all to experience it because it's great. Get ready for some... (laughs) Get ready for Looney Tunes bad shit shenanigans after the drama roller coaster of Eni's Lobby. Saitan... I feel like Thriller's Bark is going to be my favorite. (laughs) I think Thriller Bark is going to be... We're going to all have a very great time. Uh, side tangent thoughts on TMNT slash one piece crossover. Um, if he could only take one, which turtle do you think would Luffy ask to join the crew? Do not even say Michelangelo. I know he's the comedic relief, but that is food competition for Luffy. He would not fucking have it. And I'm going to, no, I'm going to put this out there too. I think Michelangelo is getting back to the point he was in the original comics of being the, the heart of the group. Yeah. He is the the Troy Barnes of the Ninja Turtles. 
He's like what keeps them together. So not Michelangelo. It would be Raphael. Really? Leo wouldn't abandon the no, group. No, it wouldn't be Raph. We already it have fuck, we already have an angsty fucking an I was angsty say, grumpy. Raphael and Zorro are interchangeable. Yeah, they are the same thing. Oh no, I think <laughs> Raph, but Raph is like way more hot headed. I don't think so. I'm pretty like, sure you guys think. Hold on, Raph, hold on, hold on, Raph, hold on, hold on. Raph does not follow orders from other people in the group. Zoro at least has the allegiance to Luffy and is like, okay, if Luffy says I'm not going to fight this guy, I'm not going to fight this guy. Raph's still going to fight that guy. Mm-hmm. Raph, you th- you'd think he's going to be like, he's going to want to be like Zoro and Sanji, and he's going to be like, yeah, I'm cool like those guys, but then he's going to really be like a Frankie. Where he's going to be like posing with wrestling moves and we shit. We already got Frankie, though. We don't need another one. Who else is it? Donatello? Luffy's not going to take Donatello. Why? He can, Cause he's he can a build a cool van. Controversial question. Would Luffy take Master Splinter? Ah. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, because I think... Or Casey Jones, because he likes his mask. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. He <laughs> takes Raphael because I think typically he's the biggest turtle, so he's the most food. That's true. Yeah. It's bad oh, yeah. for rations. Yeah. He wouldn't take Casey <laughs> Jones because Casey Jones is way too close to Sanji. They're basically the same character. Um, I don't. Casey Jones doesn't know how to cook a fucking. No, but like, they like simp peanut butter super hard. Sandwich. He simps super hard. Um, Casey Jones? Yeah. He's always like, April. When? Hey, April. It's me, Casey Jones. In oh. what? Fucking Secret of the Ooze. Fucking God. He's not in no, Secret sorry, of the Ooze. No, sorry, not Secret of the Ooze. The first one. The first. He's like, like a little he's like oh okay. april it's me you're a pretty lady let me all hit these guys with my stick <laughs> and then in the third one he's like oh yeah let's all take our clothes off guys together <laughs> when he's teaching all the samurai how to play hockey yeah he's like let's all be <laughs> naked together fellas let's have a good time and play <laughs> hockey Fuck. uh um yeah, Donatello. It's not going to be fucking Donatello. It wouldn't be Leonardo. Be like, He's got two not swords. Be Leonardo. There's already a guy Leonardo's, with swords. Yeah, Leonardo and Zoro would vibe. They would vibe. I would agree. I think I think Sanji, I, I think um, Luffy and Mikey would get along the best. Yeah. I think you're onto something, though, with Casey. I think he might take Casey Jones and not one of the turtles. <laughs> He'd like that Casey Jones just jumps out of buildings and yells Goongola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, this is, don't ask us about TMNT. I've got too many thoughts. That's true. Um, thank you for the question. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That new movie's coming out. I'm going to fucking see that. Yeah. Yeah. I bought I bought a Transforming Raphael. Did I ever talk about this? Yeah. Look at it. Yeah, look at him. He's great. He's a toy from the 90s. I'm a mark. <laughs> All right. Um, so there you have it. Which turtle would Luffy take? It's Casey Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy's mind would be blown when he discovers sweatpants. <laughs> He's like, there's stretchy pants. Luffy what? would own pajama jeans. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Um all right, we got another uh, another email. This is going to be the last one from Scurvy Juice. Hey, Matt and Mike. And historian. Um, oh, no. Wait. We'll get to the historian later. Sorry. Hey, Matt and Mike. A little twist on the who do you think is stronger debate? Who's uh, Who keeps his tools sharper, Zoro's swords or Sanji's cooking utensils or cooking knives? I don't know why I said utensils. I can't read. Who do you think keeps it sharper? Zoro. Sanji or Zoro? Yeah, it's, I think. It's Zoro. Zoro. It's Zoro. Done. Mm-mm. I think Sanji keeps his cooking knives sharp enough for food. Zoro mm. keeps his swords sharp enough obscenely sharp. to cut people, places, and things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he cuts all the nouns. Sanji cuts food. Um, <laughs> and historian, if this has been covered by Oda, please fill us in after the guys give us their takes. Um, I don't. I don't know that it gets specifically covered. I mean, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to assume Zoro's are honed for, you know, murder. Um, mm. <laughs> and Sanji's are enough to, you know, cut a piece of steak, which could also, yeah. you know, murder. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, I don't I don't think it's been specifically covered. Um, I will confer with the SBSs, and by that I mean I'm going to ask Sebastian because he's consumed every single SBS <laughs> uh, in the last, like, month. So oh, Sebastian <laughs> goes hard. Sebastian. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, um, anyway, I look forward to hearing you all every week. Thank you for your silliness and sincerity, Scurvy Juice. Thank you, Scurvy Juice. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your transponder snails, Ben Tenaru. We love you KC, Scurvy Juice. And, and King, we're coming for you next King, week. King, we're coming for you You're next your week. Own epi- for the You're fun. getting your own episode. <laughs> yeah. During the fun of glyph, we will, we will be chatting all about you. I mean, you heard the pace we read. Mail. If I try to read that whole email, it's going to be like another hour. <laughs> it will be another hour that we'll have to unpack, so we'll just make it its own. The, it'll be we a part of the fun of glyph. It'll be good. I can't read a sentence without getting distracted. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, thank you all for your, thank you for your continuing to send in transponder snails, folks. Thank you mm-hmm. for listening. Uh, thanks for hanging out in the discord and being shenanigan friends together over there and friends. Um, and thanks for just being in the fun peace times. I don't know what I'm saying, Michael. That's fine. I was just trying to remember the thing that I have to put at the end of this. Oh yeah. Now my moment has finally come. Brace yourself, Ganon, for the stink of my revenge!